Hello Beauty Squad, it's your girl Latanya Christina aka TT. Welcome back to my channel of all things life, love, and beauty. I hope you guys are having a great summer or have enjoyed the summer so far as it winds down over the next couple of weeks. And there has just been makeup release after makeup release after makeup release and I cannot begin to tell you how overwhelmed I know at least I feel because and I've only bought, I think the last piece of, of, of makeup I bought was the Jackie Ina palette. And I bought a foundation recently, but, and we're going to try that today uh, as well too, as you guys get ready with me. We're heading out to dinner and it's a casual dinner, but you know, of course my face is, you know, got to be extra beat and we're going to do some reflecting. I turned 50 recently <laughs> and you know, you kind of get to this point in life and you really do start reflecting and I'm going to share with you guys how I feel, how I felt and just kind of in general, how I've lived my life and maybe it'll help someone you know, as they go through, you know, their 20s, their 30s and into your adulthood and, you know, living, you know, ideally how you want to live. So you guys are going to get ready with me today and we're going to try the new foundation from Anastasia. So it should be interesting. The last foundation I purchased was the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I love that foundation and I only wear it, I don't wear it every day because it's definitely a matte foundation, but I wear it definitely when, you know, I'm going out, I know I'm going to be gone for an extended amount of time and I need, you know, that, that sort of coverage because my skin is oily, especially in the T-zone, so it, it's just like bacon grease, you know, after a couple hours. and. So I, I have a couple of others, you know, that I use regularly, but, you know, I figure I'm going to try Luminous Foundation because I really like the Giorgio Armani Luminous Foundation, and I wanted to try this, you know, today. There's been a lot of foundation releases, Dose of Colors, I know Juvia's Place, Charlotte Tilbury, it's been a, a Fenty... Fenty, you know, I'm oily, so I don't, that probably won't benefit me, unlike their first one was a soft, you know, matte finish, so I'm going to try Luminous, and some people have compared it to the NARS, but you know, we'll see, but before you guys get ready with me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to hit the little bell so you know when TT's videos have been uploaded, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, like, <laughs> subscribe, you know, all that good stuff, you know, that we like. Uh, you're already here. I mean, I see you watching. I see you hitting the like button and commenting. So just go ahead and hit subscribe. So let's get ready. Okay, so let's go on with the foundation. I've already done my eyes and prepped my brows. And this is the new Anastasia foundation. Comes in 50 shades. I'm reading available in 50 completely natural shades so it's a luminous foundation water resistant liquid foundation that creates a luminous natural finish hmm the radiant formula delivers long wearing medium coverage yet still feels weightless and looks ultra fresh okay all right I'm I'm okay with that and I want to say I believe this retails for 38 bucks and it does kind of remind me of the NARS foundation. NARS doesn't have my exact color, and I'm not about to mix colors together. I just don't have time for that. <laughs> so that's why I don't use NARS. But I picked up the color 410C, which is cool. I compared it to some of my other foundations, and it looked fine. <laughs> so let's just see. So anyway... Oh, shoot. It's got kind of, oh, I don't know. It's not cooperating or coming out of this pump properly. Okay. There we go. 
I probably put too much, but it's actually got a nice thick texture to it. So not bad. I'm going to apply with a brush. So as I said, you know, I turned 50 recently and leading up to 50, I was just kind of like, you know, <laughs> I'm going to be 50, you know, is, is that old or, you know, <sighs> what do you consider that you know in today's you know time and the number i'll tell you has been bothering me or was bothering me i'm like oh my god 50. oh my god am i really <laughs> you know am, am i old or you know whatever the case is and you know friends you know family you know my husband kept saying you don't look 50 you know you look half your age and you know, all that stuff is, is nice and great and, and you love to hear it, but still, still didn't change the fact that the number was still 50. And, you know, my younger brother, he and I are five years apart. So I knew when he turned 45 this year, I'm like, oh, Jesus, I'm really going to be 50 this year. And, you know, all of my friends from, you know, high school, you know, my graduating class are all turning 50, you know, this year. So, and there's been, you know, celebration after celebration, you know, after celebration. So, <sighs> I'm just kind of like, okay. And I decided to have a birthday party. And I was going to do a get ready with me on that particular day on my birthday on the 24th of August. But... It just, you know, we had a lot going on and, and it was down in LA in Hollywood and it just, it didn't work out. So, and I had it all planned. I'm going to tell you, this fake, <laughs> this foundation is actually nice. So, I'll try, I'll do a wear test and we'll just see how luminous, you know, this is going to hold up. So, but anyway, so... You know, I had a big party, a lot of friends, family, you know, came out to help me celebrate and it was really nice. It was, it was really, really nice. We had probably over, you know, 60 people, you know, there, you know, it made me feel, you know, really, really good. And, you know, it, it was good to have everyone, you know, around. I had also saw you know, my my nephew, you know, before, I think the the week before that, and I saw him the day after my birthday. So, you know, he's, you know, always, you know, good to see. But I tell you, I woke up on my birthday, on the 24th, with a bag of mixed feelings. And it's hard to say, you know, why I felt that way and I've talked to other you know friends who turned you know 50 and and you know they were you know the same way you know it's a tough number to work with I I will say it, it definitely is a is a tough number to work with but I really like this foundation the coverage is nice so far so oh shoot I put too much on my hand because I couldn't get it, you know, out, but, hmm, okay, it's, it's not bad looking at all, it, it really, really is not bad looking, so, you know, once I, I'm just trying to really just get it into my skin here, because it's going to be kind of a, a long day, you know, long night, so we'll, we'll see, I'm going to use my Jackie Ina palette today because this has definitely been my favorite palette <laughs> lately. So, but anyway, you know, the mixed bag of feelings and you do a lot of reflecting. I'm going, I'm going to say to, I'm going to try, hmm, I know some great colors in here. I really haven't experimented with big wig, the purple a lot. So, Maybe we'll go in with pinker and do some, some big wigs. So, you know, I'll tell you, you know, at 50, what would I tell the young Tanya? You know, 
there's not a lot I would tell her. You know, when I was in my, my 20s, you know, I did what I wanted to do. I partied. I had a job. I had my own place. I had a car. You know, I, I did exactly what I wanted to do or what you should be doing, you know, in your 20s. You know, you're, you're dating, you're partying, you're hanging out till 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock, you know, in the morning, you know, doing what you should be doing, you know, at that age. And I would, I would tell her, you know, you made some good choices, you made some not so good choices, but it didn't get you in any trouble or anything, you know, like that. And... I, I knew early on, for me, for me, I knew kids were, were something I knew that I didn't want. And despite, I tell you what society tells us as women, you know, do what you want to do. And my suggestion is live your life first, you know, live your life, do what you want to do. And then if you decide to have kids, then that's what you do. Just don't let anyone else dictate to you what you should or what you shouldn't, you know, be doing. And and that is pretty much how I have lived my life. And I love advice. My mother gives great advice. My aunts give great advice. My grandmother, you know, gave great advice. You know, my, my grandmother passed away a few years ago and we shared a birthday and for a while there after she passed away, you know, birthdays weren't the same. They they weren't the same because we, we often celebrated, you know, together. And, you know, here I got married a couple years ago. She wasn't there for that. And now I'm 50 and she wasn't here for that. And, you know, I, you know, when you get, you know, older, my grandmother was in her late 80s when she passed away. And, and she would say, I'd be like, you know, mama. You know, you're going to be around when I get married. She's like, girl, I'll be long gone on the glory, you know, by then. And and unfortunately, you know, she was, you know, she was right. So, but I think about her all the time, if not, you know, every day along with my baby girls, my doggie that I had some years ago. And, you know, as well, too. So, you know, I, I love advice. I take advice. And now being, you know, 50, oh my God, I can give life advice, you know, too. And I'm not saying that, you know, my life, my my growing up, my childhood was perfect. It, it wasn't very problematic until I got to, to high school. But, you know, after high school and, and all that, yeah, I did pretty much what I wanted to do. But I was also... I was a good kid. I was I was definitely a good kid. And I didn't get in trouble a lot, you know, because someone said, what would you tell the young Tanya? You know, you were okay. You did everything the way you wanted to do. So I never let anyone dictate to me what I should or should not have been doing at that time. I'm glad I grew up in, you know, the 80s you know, being adult, you know, in the 90s, you know, and 2000, you know, was definitely, you know, great too, you know, and to see how, you know, times have changed, you know, it's, it's been great, you know, society tells us, you know, at, at women, you know, for women, you know, I could be considered old, I'm like old, like 50 is old, <laughs> you know, so you, you know, you, you deal with that, you, you hear that, and look at beauty brands. A lot of times, you don't see a lot of women over the age of 40 representing brands. And there's a lot of women out there that are over the age of 40 who look damn good, who look better than girls half their age. And to me, is that fair? Absolutely not. Because I tell you, as we all know, women over 40 have more discretionary income and we tend to buy more makeup and beauty products because we have the extra income and we buy high-end products you know we will buy you know some other not so high-end products but we tend to gravitate to high-end makeup 
because we have the extra discretionary, you know, income that makes, you know, all the all the difference. So, you know, why brands, you know, choose to still have, you know, the the youngsters up there. I get it because that's what you're trying to attract, but that's not who buys makeup. And, you know, you have, you know, women, you know, 40, 35, you know, 40 who buy makeup for their daughters or their nieces or their cousins, you know, whoever, you know, the, the case, you know, may be, they're buying it, you know, for, for them, you know, a lot of times. So we buy the product, but, you know, we're, we're not exactly, you know, represented, you know, I, I think in, in, in all cases, okay, I wasn't thinking purple, but now that, <laughs> I have it on. I'm like, okay. I'm I'm feeling the I'm definitely feeling the the purple for sure. I've used big wig, you know, once or twice, the really pretty purple, you know, here I've used it once or twice. So, I definitely think, you know, when brands ask, you know, what we want to see or what I want to see, I want to see women of my age group. Whether you look, you know, your age or not, you know, does it matter? You know, and some would say yes, but, you know, I like to think that I'm trying to age gracefully. <laughs> you know, I've always taken really good care of myself. You know, my guilty pleasure is drinking because <laughs> I, you know, I tend to drink either water or alcohol. That's all I drink. So, and I, I take really good care of myself. When I was younger, probably right out of high school, you know, my mother introduced me and a girlfriend at the same time introduced me to skincare, Mary Kay, which I used for a very, very long time. And let's just kind of cut the lid here a little bit. And I've always taken good, good care of myself. You know, I've always, you know, worked out. I mean, I, I I eat right majority of the time. I'll say it's it's is it perfect? Absolutely not, because I love French fries. So, but you know, for the most part, you know, I've always taken care of myself. So now, you know, I can say, you know, at fifty, you know, I I, I think I look, you know, somewhat, you know, decent, <laughs> and I've I've. I'd like to think that I've done a pretty good, pretty good job at, at taking care of myself. And I'm, I'm proud of that. And I, like I said, I knew me physically having kids was something I knew that was not ideally for me and more power to anyone, you know, who has kids. It, kids were just not for me. And I guess because, you know, I always lived my life the way I wanted to and you know when you're younger you're partying and you're dating you know kids slow you down they they slow you down that was that was always my thought and could I have probably had a couple kids by now yeah probably yeah probably but obviously <laughs> it just didn't uh didn't pan out you know that way so and don't let and I and I'll tell you if you don't want to have kids because I, I read something that a lot of people, you know, are not having kids the way that they, you know, once were. Again, don't let society dictate to you what you want to do. You know, do what you want to do because that is what makes you happy and not someone else. And that's, you know, all I, I can say because society will make you feel guilty for not having kids like that defines us as women as having kids uh no it does not i mean i've accomplished a lot in this life i bought my first house at 29 years old <laughs> by myself i bought my first house and I, I lived in that house up until i got married and we bought, you know, a house together. So guess what? Now I have two houses at 50 years old. So 
you know, do what you want to do, you know, and, you know, your friends that are around you, you know, will probably dictate a lot of that. You know, at the time I bought my house, a lot of my girlfriends already owned homes, you know, already. And I'm like, oh, my God, I need to do that, too. <laughs> you know, because, you know, rent was just it's just out of control 20 years ago when I bought my house. So it's worse now. There's no way I probably, you know, you could buy a house. Yeah, probably could buy a house, you know, by myself now. But it would probably be a little more challenging than what it was, you know, years ago. Okay, for the lid, may as well go with Shookington. I mean, why not? Why not? So, you know, my, my advice is, you know, do what you want to do. Definitely do what you want to do and don't let anyone dictate to you what you should or shouldn't be doing. Don't give in to society's pressure that, you know, if, if I don't have this or, or that, that I'm not complete because that is total bullshit, I will tell you. And do what you want to do live your life now that may be easier said than done for me you know someone who has always lived my life the way I wanted to or however it was you know planned you know for me but you know that's ideally what has worked for me so let me throw on some lashes finish up this look and I'll be right back okay so welcome back and thank you guys for getting <laughs> getting ready with me if you guys don't have this Jackie Ina palette you sleeping on it because it is definitely in my opinion one of the best one of the best palettes that has come out this year it, it really really has been so I'll let you guys know on the foundation <laughs> later today so as you see it's about that's my husband and I in Jamaica. <laughs> 10 40 right now in the morning. So I won't be back until later. We'll see how this holds up. I did use a setting spray, my MAC Fix Plus. So we'll see how that holds up. And let me just say, you know, as I push through, you know, 50 and getting better with it, with the number every day. You know, my advice is do what you want to do on your terms. Be cautious in decisions that you make. Take heed to advice that you are given. I, I actually have a, a good life. I have a great career that I love, that I've been doing for a long time. I went back to school as an adult in my 30s, late 30s, early 40s, and I got my degree about, it actually came in the mail earlier this year, but I graduated last year. So it's never too late to do what, do what you want to do. And it's okay to live your life the way that you want to without letting someone or a society dictate to you what you should or shouldn't be doing or what you should or what you shouldn't have because you have to do things according to your plan, your timeline. And that is the best advice I could give you or anyone is to live the life that you want to live. Enjoy it. We only get one. I make the best of everything. I love my family. I love my friends. We all get together and it is just one big gathering and I love that and I'm, I'm glad I've gotten to this point especially where things don't bother me as much things just kind of roll off my back I don't take things personal and some would say that comes with age and with time and that I'm grateful for because when I was younger yes you definitely take things more personal you know and and they hurt things don't hurt as much as they used to but that's Tanya today giving you advice. You know, Tanya 20, 30 years ago did what she wanted to do, which is why Tanya is still here today. So 
Cheers! <laughs> Cheers to 50 and 50 more. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. You got something out of this because I know I did. I feel a little better. Getting a little teary-eyed. <laughs> Don't want to mess up my makeup too much. <laughs> but do you, guys. Do you. Do what you want to do. Until next time. TT is out. <laughs>